Now, in Psalm 24, he even tells us why he owns it. And he says, because he's creator. Not only did he, does he own it, but, but he created it. Because he created it, he owns it. He speaks it into existence. Kind of like in, in the business world, if a person creates something or if they come up with a design and they get a patent on it, the patent says it belongs to them and they get to tell how it's used, right? Because that patent, well, in the same sense, God created the world and as a result, it belongs to him. Now, as many times as you've heard this, and as simple as this is, I want to tell you, it's one of the hardest principles for us to embrace because it goes against everything in us from the time we were small. I mean, you remember when your kids were two years old and they began to learn words and, um, and one of the words they began to learn, and you don't even teach them this stuff, but one of the words they begin to learn is what? Mine. Mine, and they'll reach and grab it. That's mine. And you know what? That mine mentality grows up with us. So all of a sudden, we have this protective mentality. We are fearful. We are stressed. We are worried because of all that is mine. And I've got to grab hold of it. And the attitude sometimes is get all you can and, and, and can all you get and sit on the can. You know, I mean, it's just this attitude of, of all mine. And what does God say? Hey, none of it is yours. It all belongs to me. Now, if you can wrap your mind around that one, then it brings us to the second principle. And, and the second principle is this. If God owns everything, then everything you have belongs to him, which means you are a steward of everything God owns. You're a steward. Now, the word steward and stewardship the word steward literally means one who manages the affairs of another. One who manages the property of another. One who manages the finances of another. Uh, it, it also carries with it the idea, the care and management of something that is entrusted to us to take care of. So if God owns everything, then you and I are stewards and the things that we possess, we simply manage because it's not ours. 